Hello and welcome to Messrs Caravan Adventures. Today I'm going to show you my caravan that me and my wife bought back in November last year. Um, we bought a caravan because we've got a little family and we'd love to make memories. And when I was a kid, there was nothing better than a caravan holiday. At the moment, our caravan is stored on the actual camping site pitches. But that's while they're doing the new storage yard for the caravans. So once that's built, I think that will be end of February, start of March. And obviously that's when they'll tell us to move our caravans over to there. So the reason we only stayed in uh, Henlo is because I didn't want to travel too far before the caravan and had a full service and a full checkover. That obviously got done, made sure the gas was all safety checked, electrics, tires, damp report, everything. So it came back that there was no damp, which I was very surprised, as it being a 2010. So you're looking at what, 13 years old, 14 years old. The only thing that they needed to do was the brakes, which he done there and then. So to be honest, For only the brakes for its age obviously it's been well looked after so we're going to install new carpets today that i bought i'll put the link in the description um full set of carpets for i paid 255 pound i thought that was pretty reasonable and the fact that i've received them in five days of making the order actually four days of making the order very impressive um so yeah, I'll install them today, do a video of that. And I need to clean out my fridge because obviously I left the fridge closed and that's something you shouldn't be doing. You're meant to leave it open. So obviously where I've left it closed, it's gathered up mold. So I need to clean that out today and just do some other bit. There we go. Obviously, I stuck a towel down. Very dirty, muddy. And there she is. <coughs> it's not a fixed bed. These are, you can either use as two single beds, but we pull it out. Pull it out and turn it into one double bed TV. Don't come and knock in if the caravan's rocking. That's a little um, fire guard we got. So the little one don't touch the... Because the fireplace gets pretty hot the, when you touch it. So this obviously protects it as well. Because that don't get hot at all. That I bought on Amazon. Storage cupboard. Hangers. Two seats. That's the ladders for when you turn it into bunk beds. So the bunk beds go at the back here. You can either have one, again, it depends on the size of the person. So you can have, again, two children either side. You can turn that into one double bed. And then this bit pulls up so you can have one double bed underneath. And then the bunk bed comes up here. But they do recommend... No one heavier than 11 stone, which I don't think 11 stone is going to hold you. These are my carpets. I'm going to be installing today. So I'm debating whether to leave the these little clips here because you can either have buttonholes or Velcro. But if you notice, they're all dotted around. So I don't know what to do yet. But the thing is, I don't want to take them up. And then I've got holes in the ground. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet. This is the fridge. Just clean that out. That was all mouldy. 
so like they say you should leave it you should leave it open when the caravan's not in use air it out four burner not too bad microwave loads of storage loads of storage kettle saucepans frying pan <coughs> TV got rid of a TV toilet electric toilet electric flush toilet shower that's my waste master again there's not really places you can store that so I just stored it in the shower plenty of storage I was debating whether to wallpaper all this. I don't know. And maybe stick some vinyl, vinyl back in on there. Make it look a bit more modern. I think it's too many, too much wood effects. So yeah, now I'm just going to install the carpets. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them down first and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the buttons and the Velcro yet. So let's just get this all set up and see how it looks. too sure if I'm going to use the buttons but they are a bit slippery so I might just do the velcro first and see how see how it comes along yeah and you got the toy right. reason I went for this color because we've got a dog and um, getting beige carpets I think they'd be demolished especially with a child and all the dog hair so yeah we've got a black dog yeah very nice I think I'm definitely going to have to um, maybe change the, f the colour of the wood. Right, one step at a time, eh? So I was thinking with these seats, I didn't know whether to just keep the throws on them or actually change the covers. But I know that you can buy covers. The only problem is these buttons, because getting them out is easy. Putting them back in is a lot of hassle, because they're actually zipped on. 
but it's just getting the buttons off. So then I was just thinking of, I know you can buy on Timu some covers that just go over the top of them. So what do you guys reckon? Do you reckon I should leave them if they are? Put the throw over them or buy some covers? <laughs> Make myself a cup of tea the old fashioned way. Obviously there's no, there, there is electricity here, but not, um, obviously I can't connect up to it because the, the electricity points are over there. But the, like I said, I'm, we're on, we're on pitches that in, in, in March, these would just be full of customers. The only reason we're all here is because they're building a the new storage yard. So like I said, come the start of March, that should be all running, all open to then take our caravan over there. But yeah, you have the, uh, I've got some water, but you have the electric points, which I don't think I'm allowed to connect up to. So I don't want to take the biscuit. So yeah, I'm making a cup of tea, the old fashioned way. Enjoy the caravan, you know. Get me cup. Me daddy cool cup. So here she is. I haven't really got a name for her yet. So maybe any suggestions, put a name in the comment. And the one I like is the one I'll pick. So we've got a Bailey pageant. Which is obviously it's a bit dirty where it's obviously been raining and stuff. Motor mover. <laughs> I bought these on Amazon because I was told that um, over the winter you can end up damaging your fridge. You can leave them on all year round. Does need a bit of a clean, don't you? I need to change the number plate because I've got a privatised plate for my car. I've got a roof cover, I've just taken that off. <clears throat> I left the roof cover on when I switched the fire on. So I had to quickly run out and pull it straight off. Didn't have time to fold it away. It's my mate's caravan. We're here doing these wheels because he needs new tyres for his. So you put your set for your toilet that's where you put in your chemical and this is the battery that's where the battery pack is and when you switch the motor mover on I've got a front cover that's for I think that's for when you're driving along and the stone chips you don't want to damage the windows that's my towing car VW Passat, state, two litre. It says it can pull up to two tonne, or 2.2 .2 tonne. So here we have my tow bar, detachable tow bar. It's actually really, really handy. So it's just very simple. Twist it pull it down and off it comes it's easy as that and to put it back on again twist it you make sure you see the red the red uh, label when that's connected that will go green and that shows you that it's connected properly and then obviously you've got a key so you can lock it so you don't have to keep removing it it saves anyone else nicking it um, this actually came with the car and then what I had to do was I had to get they they didn't have the keys in it so there's a code on the side you give that code to the website and they sent me out some new keys so yeah that's pretty cheap but yeah handy bit of kit that is so like I said just put to put it back on put it on the red thing Bang, done 
and then obviously your electrics you fold down connect it all in but I'll show that on another video So yeah, putting that on is a bit of hassle, but it's done. And now you just need to strap up all the the hooks. And yeah, it's pretty um, it's pretty solid. So here I'm going to install the front of the the front cover. This is what you keep on. Well, this is what I'm going to keep on when driving along, just to prevent stone chips hitting the screen and breaking them. So it comes with some clips, and the clips. You pretty much stick in the awning rail and then you clip them on. It's pretty simple really. It's just figuring out what way it goes around. And actually this is probably a one-man job as well. Not like the roof cover. That was two people. That is a that is a lot of hassle. It would do for now. Right, so that's me done at Henlow today. Caravan's all sorted. I need to, hopefully I need to write down more checklists because obviously in March we're going away to Wokenham and we're actually going away in... April to New Forest um, but I will be doing review videos on that anyway but please like and subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video